KVK is finally here. It's been an eventful off season for sure. We started off a lot of projects such as Farmer Fighter Season 2 and the Plotopod, but we are finally getting ready to fight for this upcoming KVK. What's up everybody, it's Plato Gaming here, and in today's video, we are going to be talking about our upcoming Storms of Stratagems KVK. We're also going to be looking at the map to see when potential fights might happen, and also at the matchup with the kingdoms that we're allied and that we're versing against to see what we are going to be playing with for this KVK. For Storms of Stratagems, this is also my first time playing this KVK, but from what I've been told, it's kind of similar to a Nile setup where you have these points and you have these stratagems. I don't really know the details too much, but we'll definitely be going into it once we get into the KVK. I was told that you could also have, it's similar to Warriors Unbound where it changes the troop type of a commander. So you could have some weird pairs. So we might be seeing War Daddy Chatsky's Attila with Gorgo again. I'm kind of excited for these new, I guess, gimmicks and game modes that we have in, in this KVK. As for the map, if we go ahead and look at the map here, we are positioned in the top left and we are allied with all of the North Camps, so that being Earth Camp and Wind Camp. And we are versing Daybreak, Greenwood, and Water. Meaning that for the Zone 5, we might potentially have a fight with Daybreak. The next fight would be in Zone 7, which is the zone right before Kingsland. So we're going to be having a Zone 7 fight. And that Zone 7 fight, we potentially could be fighting both Daybreak and Greenwood from our opponent. So that should be a fun fight there. Then, and then of course, the, the final opportunity to be fighting is going to be Kingsland. Um, where all of the camps have the potential to be fighting with and against each other. For the dates of these fights, the past four, if we do have a fight, the past four is going to be on April 25th. The past seven opening is going to be on May 8th. And the Kingsland opening is going to be on May 22nd. A bit less than a month for the past seven fight, which is I think is pretty much guaranteed. So we will be barb chaining a lot during that time. And then of course, Kingsland is going to be more than a month, pretty much a month and a half until we have Kingsland. So it is going to be a while before we get these fights, but I'm still looking forward to it nonetheless. We could go ahead and look at the camp stats here. We're out of the six camps. 2268 is the only single kingdom camp. We are one alliance kingdom with SV at 15 billion power. And overall for a top 900 power, we have a 45.7 billion camp power and 1.4 trillion GP. Next, we could go ahead and look at Earth Camp, which is the top middle camp. They have 1756 and 2070. I believe 1756 is a two alliance KD where they have their main alliance, um, 56BZ at 11.5 billion power, and then they have 56JK at 8.6 billion power, so definitely no slouch there in terms of power. I think they are actually, like, during matchmaking, they just got Imperium. For 2070, they are a B seed, which has a main alliance of 8.5 billion power. So overall, you can kind of see the stats here. If we look at the top 900, they have 50 billion camp power and 346 billion camp KP. Looking at the final, our final allied camp, we have 1166 and 1597. 1166 might be a familiar name if you watched last KVK because they were actually our camp mates um, in that last KVK against 2429. They are an A seed at 11.9 billion power in their main alliance. And then 1597 is the B seed that is paired with them. And they are a one alliance KD at 9.7 billion power. If you look at the top 900, they have a camp power of 15.3 billion and a camp KP of 661 billion camp KP. So overall, as an alliance, if we look at our powers, Combined, it's 146 billion power and then 2.4 trillion KP. That is it for the allies. Let's go ahead and take a look at the opponents here. And let, let's start off with our potential first opponents with Daybreak, which is 2250 and 3125. 3125 is actually the youngest kingdom that we versed in 2268. Very, very young KD. They have a lot of native players still. I believe they're coming straight out of kvk4 into kvk5 
Um, I'm not exactly too sure, but I, I don't know. It feels like a pretty young KD to be versing. Um, but if we go ahead and look at their main alliance, they are at 8.6 billion power. Pretty solid main alliance there. And then I believe they have a secondary alliance at 5.7 billion power um, as well. And they also have a third alliance at 4.6. So they look like a potentially two main alliance or one main alliance, two support alliance kingdom um, from what I'm seeing here. 2250 is one main alliance and they are at 10 billion power though as a BC the, is pretty strong. So they uh, definitely have some firepower in that one main alliance um, in Daybreak. Uh, overall as a camp, they have in the top 900, they have 49.9 billion camp power and 397.2 billion camp kp all right next let's go into greenwood and greenwood is a camp that we can potentially fight in zone 7 starting off with the a seed in 1770 their main alliance being the handsome devils at 13.4 billion power and it looks like they are a one alliance kd as well if we go ahead and look at their BC counterparts, it's 2836. 2836 have Lego of Chaos um, at 8.7 billion power. And it looks like they are also a one alliance kingdom. So overall for the camps, um, the top 900, they have 44.1 billion power and 783.5 billion camp KP. Finally, I've been told this is going to be the most threatening camp that we have that we're versing against. It is going to be 1824 and 1900 in water camp. First off, let's go ahead and look at 1824, which is actually now Imperium. Um, so they were, I believe they started off the matchmaking at A seed, but now they are Imperium. Um, we have TS24 at 12.6 billion power, um, being one of their main alliances. And then they, it looks like they have a support alliance in VL24 at 6.6 .6 billion power. And the BC that is accompanying them is 1900. 1900, their main alliance is cool. <laughs> and they are actually, they actually have a moon and a star. So six ziggurat captures is pretty impressive at 11.5 billion power as a BC. So definitely really threatening as a BC. And I'm going to be looking forward to fighting water camp in Kingsland. Overall, Water Camp has in the top 900, 59.3 billion camp power and 1.4 trillion camp KP. So rivaling our camp KP in 2268. Overall, if we look at our opponent's power and KP totals, they have 153.3 billion power and 2.5 trillion KP. If we compare and contrast our totals versus their totals, they actually have more power and KP than um, our side as well. Although our side is missing an extra kingdom and I know that there is some weird shenanigans when it comes to top calculating top 900. Overall, I, I would say that this is a pretty balanced KVK by looking at the stats here. All right, so this is a list of my KVK goals. I actually brought this up in stream, but I just wanted to update the video people kind of my expectations personally for this kvk so i definitely want to get top 20 honor that's going to be one of my main goals um barb chaining a ton make sure that we both get a lot of crystals a lot of speed ups and i guess in this case an extra conquest coin i want to make sure i gain at least 2 billion kp it really depends on how much fighting we have i'm predicting where our first fights are going to be in that zone 7 um but i think it's going to be pretty bloody so i think 2 billion might be on the lower side there's going to be a minimum amount of kp and my third goal is to actually use my farms because my farms are getting pretty big and as we decrease in numbers in the kingdom, it's actually approaching where my farms are getting to the top 350 in terms of power. So I definitely want to trim down my farms and, you know, use up the troops as much as possible. Be sure to subscribe to the channel, look at the live streams, um, make sure that I keep on top of my goals and let me know in the comments what you think of the matchup. And that's it for this video. I'll catch you guys later. Peace.